everyone welcome back you're gonna notice as you go through this course I'm gonna reuse some of my supplies for example I'm gonna reuse my backer paper I put this on a table and this is a extra roll of drawing paper I got at a yard sale and it's just a large roll fit perfect but I didn't see a need to put a new clean sheet for every technique so I do encourage you reuse supplies as you can you got to be mindful of several things in our current world and um, there's just no reason not to so for this video we're gonna do it's called the dirty pour we're gonna do the same thing we've done in the previous uh, put the paint to the bottom of the print line fill halfway with pouring medium we're not going to use silicone in this one I'm going to use pink blast and fill it to the bottom of that print line approximately I might do a little bit more because I'm at the end of my bottle and Peacock blue. I'm real excited to see what this one. This is a new color for me. Ooh. Reminds me of a electric blue mascara from the 1980s. Does anybody remember that? Do the eyeliner electric blue, the mascara electric blue. Fun times. This color is the pale blue so I'm gonna finish off got a couple bottles of pouring medium I'm gonna finish off with this there's that one and I'm filling halfway approximately yep we go. I'm going to reuse my sticks. <coughs> Excuse me. Start mixing. Here's the pale blue, which is a beautiful color. Scrape the side, scrape the bottom. And I'm turning the cup as I'm stirring. It helps to mix nice steady stream when you pick it up a little bit holds its shape on the surface and now for the pink blast sides bottom yep yeah, look at there this I should do a little more pouring medium. Looks a little thick. So let me just grab a little bit more. Much better. You see those air bubbles in there? That's what creates the cells naturally. Now, as you paint more and more, if you want to mix your colors the night before, let the air have a chance to rise to the top. I've done that. It's always a good idea. If you're out for a specific project where you do not want cells, I do encourage you to do that. If you're just painting like we're doing now, just having some fun, Maybe have some friends over. Just enjoy it. Okay, look at there. So using these measurements on this 8x10 canvas to the print line halfway, I've been pretty consistent with each of my videos so far and not having to worry about consistency because it's been blending pretty well. I'm going to start with the peacock blue, light blue, just layering my colors down the side so it floats to the top. 
Now, if you mixed a color heavier, it would obviously sink. You can do this any order you want. I'm just going to keep going the same order. You can do thicker layers if you like. I did have one of my students who did white, yellow, and black, which for the first time I saw that I was a little worried. But when she did her pour, she just did three solid layers. Turned out amazing. So don't be afraid to experiment and play around. And that's the benefit of using these craft paints for beginner levels. These bottles are not very expensive and they're good quality to where the colors are vibrant and they, they hold their pigment. So I got my cup layered. I'm going to just start pouring on my canvas in any way. A dirty pour just means you have a cup of mixed layered colors and you're just pouring it on. So here we go. I'm not adding black with this one if you'll notice because I'm going to start with my edges. And just a little steady stream. You can tell I can't pour straight. <laughs> now Look at this. As we see the colors come out of the cup, see the pinks, the light blues. Obviously that peacock blue is taking over and that's okay. I'm going to go the other way. You can pour any pattern, any design, any way you choose. Got a lot out of that cup. Gonna give it a minute, let it settle and sit. I might start dabbing the edges now with some of the runoff. And right now the canvas is absorbing some of that paint. Now, let's start tilting. Let's see what we can do. See, I'm going a little quicker, so now these are stretching. You can tilt slower, try to maintain some of these shapes. You can see the pattern start to open up as we tilt. Look at all those rings in there we didn't even know we had. I'm going to send it a little more towards me now. It's a little too stretched out down here for my liking. And I don't know if you can see, but I noticed it. Something got in my paint right there. So I'm going to take my pink. I'm going to take it. I'm going to slide it off. Some little glob. And look at You can't tell it just mixed right in. This is really cool. It reminds me of space. My daughter is going to love this. This might go to her. I don't know. Yeah, this is really neat. And look at that blue line of that pale blue. 
You can see the pinks start getting brighter. Look how fun this technique is. So simple. You're just pouring paint on a canvas and tilting until you like it. And I'm loving this because all of those little spots in there remind me of stars. So I'm going to leave that and let it dry. So thank you for joining me. Let me know what you create. I want to see your, uh, your pieces and your masterpieces. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.